This weekend shooting is not an isolated incident of gun violence in the in the city and in light of an uptick in shootings, Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill spoke with Utica Police Chief Mark Williams about how guns have become easily accessible to the community and consistencies the police department has seen. Every year, the first warm spell we get, uh, we see more people out and about in the community and, uh, and that includes our gun offenders. Many of these gun offenders are minors. Utica Police Chief Mark Williams explains this is due to the Raise the Age legislation. What's happening is that even though some of these juveniles are being charged with crimes which uh, they could you know, end up going to criminal court rather than family court, the way the legislation is written is that the criminal court judges cannot view the history of these juveniles. Therefore, most of these cases if not all of them, actually go back to family court. And there's a difference in how these crimes are treated, both in family court and uh, criminal court. Criminal court is more punitive. Family court, it's about getting services and treatment to the offender. Another consistency is drive-by shootings. A vehicle offers a person a quick getaway from the crime that they're committing. So, um, and included in our, in our, in our some of those drive-by shootings are run into vehicles or stolen vehicles that are being used. And Chief Williams tells me that ghost guns make weapons easily accessible to the community, especially juveniles. It could be as a result of ordering parts off the internet or even making some of the part components to a gun with 3D printing. The amount of uh, handguns that are on the street, I've been an officer for 34 years, I've never seen the accessibility of handguns as I've seen during this course this past year. Reporting in Utica, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. The issue of gun 